Hello, dear friends. I welcome you once again to our Lenten talk today. We shall reflect on the topic God's favorites. God's favorites. I know you may be wondering or questioning who are God's favorites. Does God really actually have or have uh, has God got favorites? In the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, verse 24 to 30, the Lord Jesus Christ, particularly talking to his own people, gave them examples of how God had favored some persons. He mentioned the woman of Zarephath, the widow of Zarephath. He mentioned um, Naaman, who was not also a Jew who had enjoyed the favor of God in their own way. These were two people in the history of the people of Israel who at certain periods of time when there was some calamity, some natural calamity, God favored these persons as against his own supposed people. During this season of Lent, my dear friends in Christ, have you ever looked at, your, at yourself in that way? Do you see yourself as a favored child just because you feel you are a Christian? Or do you rather see yourself as a favored child because you are doing the will of God? If I may bust your bubble, that is to all Christians out there, you are not favored because you are a Christian. You only enjoy the favor of God if you do the will of God. And then that extends to anyone and everyone who does his will, even without knowing him. And so, my dear friends in Christ, let us try as much as possible to do the will of God because that is what makes us true children of God and truly God's favorites. May the good Lord continue to bless us and help us to enjoy more and more His favors through Christ our